Hello, in this video I am going to show you the spatial and the tonal resolution that is used in image processing. Okay, so these things are basically tools for measuring the quality of an image. So basically mathematically giving a grade to the image. So first let us see the spatial resolution. The spatial resolution in image processing can be uh, compared with the sampling of the signals in uh, signal processing. So what we do basically is, so here you can see that this is a scene element that is uh, the photo that we want to click. So this is uh, the real life environment and I am clicking its photo. This is the imaging system that is uh, basically our camera. This is an illumination source. So what happens is when you click a photo of this particular object, what happens is the camera first multiplies or puts a grid on it. So this is the grid that we have chosen. This grid can be uh, changeable, you variable basically. You can change the size of the grid, the number of pixels. These small square boxes are nothing but pixels. So what happens is this grid is put on this uh, object and then what happens is there wherever the wherever the grid matches so there a box is created the small box these are known as the pixels and each pixel has a particular color value so here you can see a pixel has only one color so this is what we are doing we are sampling the image you can see the actual object it has a good smooth shade of uh, white then gray and then black but when you see the digitized image here there is a digitization that is you can see that here there is one color you can you can observe the changes you can observe that these are the pixels over here so this in this way you can see that you degraded the quality over here so this is because uh, here we have chosen less number of pixels but uh, if we choose more number of pixels then the quality will increase so the greater the number of pixels the more the better the image quality is so this was about the spatial resolution so how is it measured it is measured by the number of pixels so these are the number of columns these are the number of rows so if the number of columns are say n capital n and the number of rows are say capital m so what happens is you can get the number of pixels by m cross n so m cross n is the spatial resolution of the particular image you must have seen uh, now in youtube also here we can change the what we say the quality of the video so you see there is 1028 into 720 pixels there is uh, 480 into 360 so these are different uh, pixel values or basically the special resolution that you can uh, get in youtube so like this we can have different special resolutions according to the uh, application or according to the observer or here we can see the effect of the spatial resolution the first photo that is the top left photo here you can see that this is a very good image a uh, good quality image as it has 1024 cross 1024 pixels but as we move next we can see that the sharpness or the quality is be being reduced and at the bottom right image you can see it is very much degraded you have lost almost essence of the image so this is what is pixelating this is because what we have done is uh, the original image was 1024 cross 1024 here we have used the 32 cross 32 image at the bottom right so the 32 cross 32 image is resampled into 1024 cross 1024 hence this is the effect that is being done and that is being showing to us so now let us move to the tonal resolution and see what it is 
so what is tonal resolution tonal resolution is analogous to the quantization of the signals so quantization of the signal is basically rounding of the particular value of the analog signal to a particular discretized level so that is uh, if i give you an example say 5.3 so 5.3 will be round off to 5 and 5.9 say 5.9 will be round off to 6 so this rounding off is basically known as a quantization in a digital processing so here i have taken the point so uh, like this we can round off other things also say have a range say 1 to 10 10 to 11 to 20 etc so i can round off 1 to 10 to say 5 11 to 20 to say 15 so this rounding of the continuous range into discretized level is known as quantization so every pixel that we have is basically uh, containing of a number a number value so this number is then uh, matched to a particular color value or a color so basically if i uh, give you an example say the value 0 corresponds to black the value say 255 corresponds to white so basically we have this range from 0 to 255 if the value is say 50 so this will be some shade of gray that is more black because it is 50 it is closer to 0 so this 0 to 255 is our range of black to white similarly if i give you a number say 200 so 200 will be a shade of gray which is close to white which is light so in this way we basically give numbers to colors also here if you notice i just gave you the range of 0 to 255 so this also has a significance i chose 0 to 255 because the standard denotation is of pixels are done in 8 bits so we basically use 8 bits to represent a particular number in a pixel so 8 bits that means 2 raised to 8 that is 256 hence here we have taken the range from 0 to 255 so likewise if you take uh, say 4 bits so if we take 4 bit then the range will be 0 to 15 in that case 0 will be the black and 15 will be white so that will give you the range so the lesser the number of bits the lesser the clarity because here the the whole wide range of uh, 0 to 255 is been cut short into 0 to 16 so where 0 was black for both but here 15 becomes white and there 255 is white so you can see that there is so much quantization that is happening okay here consider this line a b so whatever pixels lie in this line a b will be considered 15. over here and we have plotted a graph corresponding to it so what is this graph this graph tells you the number uh, the basically the number the pixel value on the y axis and on the x axis we have this uh, distance so that is a b the line a b on the x axis so here you can see over here that means at this tip point of a you have white so white uh, basically corresponds to 255 here we have uh, taken 3 bit quantization so we will have 3 bits in the uh, quantization value so this will correspond to a value say 8 because 3 bits that means 2 raised to 3 2 raised to 3 is 8 so this all will come here 8 similarly as we go here you can see it is white 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 hence here all the pixels are white that is having a higher value of the pixel next when we come over here here you can see there is a black shade so since there is a huge difference the graph suddenly dropped down and it came over here somewhere and similarly here you can see now there is a shade uh, the a small change so here there was absolute black now we are coming towards a little bit white because the shade is becoming a little light 
it is becoming more light light and after a certain point it is again becoming dark so here because it is again becoming dark so what happened was when we were here it suddenly dropped because it was it became black now it is increasing as the shade is becoming a little lighter and then it will reach a particular maxima over here because here it is most white with respect to the line AB so here and then it will again drop so here it is dropping see so here it will drop till over here because here it has again become black and there is a sudden change to white again so here after this it will again shoot up to white so the same graph that was in analog form because we had these small variations so that this was a continuous graph so here when we quantize so this you can see the eight colors so because this was a three bit image you can see zero is perfectly black then a little gray but shade of black a little lighter a little lighter 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 and then finally we get white so this is the colors basically that we have for a 3 bit image so what we'll do is quantize them so if the value ranges any value that ranges over here in this particular slot that will correspond to black or this particular shade any value in this in this range it will correspond to gray this particular shade of gray and so on also here you can see sampling so what is sampling is you are basically uh, only choosing these samples you are not taking the continuous waveform you are just choosing the particular samples we represent the number of bits as small k so the different values of k will give you the different values of quantization levels say if k is equal to 2 2 means 2 bits so 2 raised to k gives you the number of quantization levels so 2 raised to k that is 2 raised to 2 in our example will give us 4 so we will have 4 quantization levels similarly standard we use 8 bits so 8 bits that means 2 raised to 8 2 raised to 8 gives us 256 quantization levels starting from 0 to 255 here we can see the final output this is the original image so here you can see the continuous analog original image and then here you can see after result of the image after sampling and quantization so here you can see that all these values are being quantized to this color all these values are quantized to this color and we have split them into pixels so this is the result of sampling and quantization here in this image you can see the different effects of the quantization or the tonal resolution the first top left image here you can see that the different shades of gray can be seen you have this lighter shade then you go a little dark a little darker and the story but as you move and you see the next image here you can see the shades have reduced so initially we had this mid range of shade so that is not visible over here similarly as we go further here you just have two shades that is black and white so when your bit the value of k becomes 1 so 2 raised to 1 gives you 2 so you just have two colors black and white so that is our black and white image or what we call is a binary image that is 0 or 1 so that we can see over here so this is the effect of the tonal resolution that we can see the more the number of bits that is the more the value of k the better the quality of the image because you will have more the quantization levels so basically more the quantization levels tell you that you have more variety of color shades of that particular color thank you all the images used in this video are being taken from this book digital image processing and the copy of this book is also available in the description below as a ebook thank you so much for watching